What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at zero access in your recycle bin. This is a new variant of zero access that's doing the rounds and it's pretty nasty. So let's have a look at how it gets installed on the system and how we can go about removing it. So assuming you've uh, now got Adobe Flash Player prompting up and you click on yes and all of a sudden it all looks pretty good. You click on the I've read the agreement and terms you click install and then bam you're infected and that's exactly how easy it is to get infected with this virus okay so now we're infected what we're going to do is uh, use some free tools to remove this from the system now if you have got this type of infection uh, is, and you don't know how to remove it then it's advisable to uh, disconnect yourself from the internet or don't use the computer until you get someone in to remove it for you now this type of infection will allow people to come in and out of your computer whenever they like and also you'll be getting uh, redirects on your browser uh, so you type in something on the internet and you'll be directed to somewhere else. These are just some of the things that these types of infections can do. So let's uh, remove this from the system. We're going to be using some free tools, uh, Road Killer from Tigzy, another tool we're going to be using, that's an awesome tool and uh, we're going to be using Malwarebytes and uh, FSS is a Firebase uh, service scanner. This will give us an insight to what's been changed and how we can go about fixing it. And also, we've got some reg fixes here that we'll use to fix uh, the registry once it's been uh, found by FSS. And also, we've got Hitman Pro, and uh, we can also do some online scans with other tools um, like. Uh, ESETS online scanner and stuff like that and all these links will be in the description of video so let's get started so what I want to do first is uh, start road killer so I'm going to right click on this and run as administrator okay so we've got to agree to the license agreement here um, so I'm going to say accept and once we've done that what we're going to do is we've got some tabs here processes uh, registry hosts as you can see there's nothing in here at the moment proxy DNS driver files MBR and shortcuts this is what it's going to scan and it's going to give us some information of what's going on with the system we've also got the fix buttons up here and the delete button this will highlight once we've done the scan it's also a PayPal donate button here if you find this program useful and you're a technician then uh, uh, then do donate uh, this guy does a lot of work to keep this up to date so let's give it a scan and straight away his website will open up as you can see and this will tell you all about uh, zero access and stuff like that and how it works and how to get rid of it I'm going to close that off and you can see straight away it's now flashing saying zero access has been uh, found on the system um, and you can see it here in the registry tab it says found and if you look here it will tell you it's the recycle bin version you can see it there so we're going to remove this from the system so let's just uh, quickly have a look at some of these other tabs now hosts is uh, got something in there and also proxies nothing there DNS is clean driver is clean files will have uh, found some files here for this uh, zero access and what we're going to do here is remove this Tigsy's uh, road killer will remove all these as well they may have to run it a couple of times to remove this um, but it will do the job just fine so let's uh, go back to our registry here and what we want to do is uh, come up to the top where it says delete and then click on delete okay so it's opened up his site again so let me just close that off now it needs to reboot to finish the process off and you can see it's got a replace here so it's going to try and replace some files uh, or registry keys and what we're going to do is click on yes to reboot okay so we're now back at the desktop okay so this uh, run road killer again going to run this again just to make sure everything is okay so what we're going to do here is run a scan 
it's saying zero axis is found so what we need to do is find out the registry keys have been removed here it's probably just the files okay and we can see these here so what we're going to do here is click delete if we go back to the files now it does say removed um, so let's quickly reboot the system once more and then we'll give this another scan Okay, so now we're back at the desktop again after our second scan. Just going to give it once more just to see if it's now removed. Going to click on scan. Said scan's now finished, and as you can see, it's now been removed. Everything's now removed with the scan. So it took two good scans with uh, Road Killer to finalize that and get rid of everything which is good it's also left us a full report of what we've done and let's have a look at the uh, reports from Rogue Killer here as you can see Rogue Killer's removed all these files here you can see it says found this was the first one we done which was number one and it'll give you every all the information okay and then the second one is what it's done to remove and as you can see removed on reboot and uh, removed here and it's even uh, may have replaced some files as well as you can see along the right hand side here replaced the shell 32.dll and then we did another scan which you can see here which is now found these three and then we did another scan after that to remove them which is now said removed so these log files are very important and if you are going to get help on forums and stuff like that then they are going to ask for these types of uh, uh, reports so they can see what's happening because you are basically their eyes and ears on removing this type of infection. Now if you're capable of doing this type of thing yourself then you should always keep these handy. Okay so let's just give uh, Malwarebytes a quick go. I'm going to give it an update here. And then run a scan. Okay, so that's good. Uh, Malwarebytes is now finished and come back with a clean uh, scan report there. So let's have a look at uh, FSS. Going to run this as an administrator here. Going to put the ticks in the boxes and then click on scan. It's going to give us a log file and let us know what's going on with the system on our services and there you can see saying there's a attention needed here in the MPSSVC service is not running it's got it, it's got some issues going on and also the BFE service is not running and we've got some issues going on there and if you come down you'll see pretty much the same for Action Center there's some issues and also Windows Update, we've got some issues there. Now this is what stumps people and you end up having a format because you can't get everything working properly. I'm not going to share how to fix some of these issues or all of them. Uh, Windows Defender and uh, other services, you've got some issues there. Now this is a good way of looking. As you can see, file check, it gives you all the information and lets you know whether they're legit or not. 
and uh, these ones are legit in this case and uh, down the bottom here you've got some more um, files that will show you whether they're legit or not okay so let's go ahead I'm going to rename this one dot uh, old so I can show you the difference once we've repaired once we've repaired it so what we're going to do here is run some registry fixes and these are our registry fixes that we've got I will put the links for these and as you can see the BFE bits firewall all these uh, shared access all these ones were infected or, or changed or damaged and we're gonna just repair these and install them again and you just need to click on them and merge them into your registry I'm just gonna quickly go through these very quick okay so that's all now installed and what we're going to do is give this another quick reboot okay so we're back at the desktop here now what we're going to do here is uh, run FSS again to get another report now you remember I've renamed that old FSS uh, report dot old and that's so I can show you the differences once we've done the fixes so what we're going to do is do a scan here run another quick scan Okay, let's snap that to the right hand side. So, so the new one's on the right hand side, and the old one is on the left hand side. And you can see up the top here it says old. And if you look at the differences here, we'll go through and see what's going on with the system. And you can see already Windows Firewall, there was some attention here that needed to be corrected, and we've corrected those now, as you can see. Also, um, Action Center here is the new one that's all been sorted out action center that had some attention on down here as you can see and also on the other side it's now all running okay we've got windows update also um, this is all running okay now and before there was some issues there as well we sorted out just pull this down a bit so we can see okay so windows defender is running okay and so is it on this side again um, everything's running sweet here so I think all in all that's all running well now so let's just close these off so now we've got that all corrected and working okay okay so we're gonna go ahead and run hitman pro now I just give this a quick scan and we should be running pretty clean now Now what I would do is run ESET's online scanner as well. Make sure everything's all up to date. Update all your browser, everything else. Make sure everything you've been doing, security updates, do everything like that, Java, Flash. Check all those and make sure they're all up to date fully. And as you can see, we've got no threats here. But all in all, I think that's uh, all done. That's all now cleaned so that's a job well done so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share support also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you've got any video requests then send me a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to make that video for you if you've got any uh, problems with your computers and you want some help then the place to do that is on my forum not on my YouTube channel and, uh, and I'll do my best to help you over there. There's a couple of other guys over there helping out. 
and uh, that's about it for this video so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now